the murderers, abortionists, people defiled with by God and humanity are going to die in their sin. And except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So the wages of sin is death. So folks, if you leave this earth and you don't have the Spirit of Christ because the Word of God says that if you have not the Spirit of Christ, you are none of His. You were born once into this world and in this life. But um, you have to be born again. And I'd like to give you this yeah, absolutely. so that you could um, read a little more what I'm saying later on. It's just concise what the Word of God says about, you know, what I'm saying about being born again and um, why we need to be saved because we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God in that particular one you're reading. What's that? I know I have, brother. Okay, well, that particular one tells you about why God established the law. And it's, that's a really good one because it shows, that law shows us that we are sinners and the things we've done. But then it'll show you also that God sent a way so that you could... It's a path towards redemption. That's right. Yeah. All right. And what's your name? Brian. All right, Brian. You seeking God? Yeah. You sincere? I would like to enter the kingdom of heaven when I leave this eternal place. Okay, plane. well, if you understand and believe the Lord Jesus Christ and understand that your sin is worthy of death and not physical death I'm talking about hellfire death okay. and the Lord Jesus Christ took our punishment for us and when you truly believe and that's what I was talking about the Spirit of God because I'm not born again because I go to church I'm born again because I believe and then the gift of God is God gives you his spirit to dwell in you and then he transform you and renews you can i ask a, you about the difference between um, you said physical death and the uh okay and the death of, okay and i'll give you one verse first sure. it's uh romans uh 6 23 it says for the wages of sin is death okay. but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord so your first death would be when you leave this earth they go to your funeral your loved ones mourn over you yeah. they bury your body okay. but you have a soul that will either go to hell or be in heaven with god okay and when you believe so now at the end of time not the end of time but at the end of the world or the end when god's done with his purpose with man on earth there's going to be a judgment someday and you could read about that in revelation chapter uh 20. Revelations chapter 20. And at the very end, it'll talk about a second death. So, what is that second death? That's what I'm going to explain to you right now. Okay. That is that, that means that you are going to live forever and that God's going to bring you to a judgment and He says that He's going to open the books. Okay, so what's going to happen is if you choose not to be saved by God's grace, and him taking your punishment for you because he was the only one that can keep the law. Okay. So those that reject Jesus Christ at the end, he's going to raise them up and then he's going to judge them just like if you were to go to the a justice and he's going to open the books and he's going to judge you out of the things written in the books. Right. And then that would be the second death when if your name is not found written in the book of life, he casts them into a lake of fire because they didn't choose his righteousness and his gift by faith while he was alive so you have to choose to believe in the lord to be saved yes okay and that could happen anywhere anytime and it could happen right now if you were you okay. know serious about that but i don't you know force people into praying i mean you can you can if you call upon the name of the lord and you really believe that and you're sorry for your sin then God will save you. And he promises that whosoever shall call upon the name so of the Lord shall be saved. you accept the Lord Jesus as Right. Savior, exactly. Okay. By faith. And then he does a work in you. And if that does take place, then, uh, you know, you would, you know, you'd have to, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd be seeking the things of God. So can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. So 
Why are you out here spreading the message? Because it's what God told us to do. Okay. So when you he rose try from to make a differences in many lives. Well, God commanded when he rose from the dead, he yeah. told his disciples to go out into all the world and preach the gospel. Yeah. So I'm obeying the great commission. I'm fulfilling what God okay. told Fair us enough. to do. Fair enough. All right. What was okay. your name again, I'm sorry? Brian. Brian. Okay, yeah. Brian. Yeah. And um, if you wanted to, I could write my email address on there if you wanted to further yeah, discuss. Sure. You know, um, here, can you just hold this for me? Sure. I just, um, I'm, I'm recording that, but I just keep, I'm not really, I record this for, you know, the, the work that I do. And do you but, have like a YouTube yes, channel? Yes, I do. Yeah? Uh, you can find me, if you look up Rochester Kevin B, Rochester or Rochester Kevin Street B. Preaching, okay. you, you should find me. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to write this on here, so, and you know what, I'm going to even, uh, I'm going to even put my phone number. I don't usually do that, but if you call me in sincerity, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and uh, I go to a church called Gospel Light Bible Baptist Church. It's in Gates. Okay. So if you you know we're thinking about like you know you're sincere whatever you can find it on the internet. It's on Lyle Road and. My preacher okay. preaches what I'm preaching right here, right now. Well, thank you, sir. All right, Brian, Appreciate have a good night. God thank bless you, man. Too. Thanks for the time that you spent. Thank you. God bless. So that's it, folks. And you see, it doesn't say that everybody's going to be saved. You know, you know, God says that there's the one. There's the one. He would leave the... He would leave 90, if there was 100, he'd leave 99 behind to go find the one.